So we know it works as a flapper and I know it did work a few years ago using magnetic coupling. That's two neodymium magnets in there. We don't want this this bit anymore. Can we get it out? Probably end up having to 3D print a holder for the magnets. They're in there at the moment. So Right, so we'll put that back on. I think originally this piece was part of one of those little fans that plug into the front of the motor. Okay, battery. Right. I think this one might be a better option because it's going to be higher. Now I can just put a magnet on the end of there. Now on the video that I watched, I'd actually used a rubber band to center it. I don't know if I needed to do that. In the open air, that can swing right round. But when that's in the water, if it's going forwards, that's going to tend to straighten it up anyway. Need a magnet to go on there of some sort. I've got a whole load of these little magnets, little neodymium magnets, bought for a project that I never actually did in the end. So I think I'm going to have to glue them on there. Hmm, it's not even turning. Is it short of power? Or is that just too strong? That's too strong. Gosh, amazing. I also think I probably need to mount them that way up. Gosh, that is... but I'm not sure which way round I need it. Gosh, that, that really is... I need it to be repelled rather than attracted, that's the thing. There's suddenly a little bit more complication to this than I was hoping. Right, I'm going to play with that for a few minutes. We'll come back later when I've decided what I'm going to do. As you can see, I've put the other rudder back on there. Because the magnet's a bit further away, so it's not stopping it spinning quite so easily. Now, this looks like it's going quite slowly. But I think when it's got the water resistance on there, it's just going to vibrate a tiny little bit. thing to do is go and put it in the bath and see what happens. Because I might need to put fresh batteries in there. We'll see.
So what we can't see from up here is the rudder is vibrating. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's not working quite the way I expected, or I hoped. The tension is very um, difficult to get right. The only thing to do is go and take it up in the bathroom, put it in the bath and see if it works. So I'll turn it off. You'll see it's attracted to, obviously, one pole and repelled by the other. The speed it goes round means that it's pulsing in and out. So at rest it's actually stuck on there. I have to release it before it will actually turn. Yeah, I think this is one of those little projects that could spend I could spend an awful lot of time on trying to get it right. But we'll give it a go and see if it will work like that. Another little problem I've got is the, the back of the boat is too flexible. So when I put too much tension on there, it actually um, moves the back of the boot. Luckily, it only wants a very small amount of tension. Well, that is definitely not working the way it was intended. But it is this problem about the back end of the boat. It's moving, so the rudder is hardly in the water. Supposed to be down further like that. I want to put a weight on it to hold it down. Well, I put some weight on the back. That's holding the rudder in the water. It's hardly moving. In fact, if anything, it's turning round. some sort of forward motion. It's a bit noisy. That's because I'm running it on a lithium-ion battery now. That's picking up speed, isn't that? Well, if you can call it that. <laughs> it's moving, that's the point I'm trying to make. It's not shooting along. got is the magnet is repelling it and the rubber band's pulling it back so it's doing that so this is moving but it's moving very fast Get that tension just right, otherwise it goes round in circles from the looks of it.
Oh. <laughs> oh well, you saw it here. <laughs> oh, I think that's actually come loose. Oh, I see why it's come loose as well. Because I'm running it on the lithium ion battery. That's getting hot and the hot glue that's holding that motor in place has gone soft. That's what's happened there. Yes, that motor's quite hot now. So I was pushing it a bit. And it wants to tilt over now because all that weight's pulling on it. Okay, well, do we class that as a success? Not really. Well, it was moving forwards. But it wasn't quite as impressive as I was hoping. Might have to rethink this. Well, summary time now. I would say that was a failure, surprisingly enough. But it has given me a few ideas. The idea of spin it, spinning the magnets round and pushing that out the way sort of works but I think rather than trying to use a rubber band or a spring to return it if I make that a u-shaped yoke and have a magnet on the other side then that's going to push it that way and then that way and then the problem I was getting was it was actually hitting this well that fix is quite easy all we need is a a post either side there so that that cannot actually hit that. I don't know if I'm explaining it well enough but where that goes on there we'd need a couple of pillars either side to stop that being able to actually get all the way over. Yeah probably not explaining it I think what I'm saying is I've got an idea. <laughs> so we might have another go at this. Need to do a few changes. Quite a few changes. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.